Seismologists have cautioned that the Yellowstone supervolcano is hinting at an up-and-coming emission, which could have cataclysmic outcomes for humankind. As per researchers, a procedure known as twisting, where subsurface rocks change their shape, is occurring underneath the surface of the well of lava. Express.co.uk reports, researchers state disfigurement happens when there is an adjustment in the measure of weight in the magma chamber and specialists are watching out for the advancement. Seismologists from Munovco, a philanthropic college-administered consortium, are utilizing worldwide positioning system, borehole tilt meters, and borehole strain meters to quantify minute changes and twisting at Yellowstone. In an article for the Billings Gazette, David Menson, and Glenn Mattioli, geodesists with UNIVCO, say the strain flag is bigger than would be normal if the outside layer under Yellowstone were totally strong. This would propose magma is streaming, enabling strain to work in the chamber. The twosome stated, these autonomous perceptions concur with different instruments at Yellowstone, similar to seismometers, that demonstrate a zone of semi-liquid shake beginning around 3 miles underneath the surface. We say semi-liquid in light of the fact that the whole zone contains just in the vicinity of 5 and 15 percent fluid shake that possesses little pockets of room between strong shake. Be that as it may, they include these discoveries are no reason to get excited, and these estimations are predictable for a well of lava which has been developing for near a million years. The Yellowstone Caldera supervolcano last ejected 700,000 years prior however specialists say it should blow each 1 million years or thereabouts. On the off chance that the Wyoming spring of gushing lava were to emit an expected 87,000 individuals would be murdered instantly and 66% of the USA would promptly be made dreadful. The vast stretch of cinder into the air would shut out daylight and specifically influence life underneath it making an atomic winter. The monstrous emission could be an amazing 6,000 times as effective as the one from Washington's Mount St. Helens in 1980 which killed 57 individuals and stored fiery remains in 11 distinct states and 5 Canadian territories. On the off chance that the fountain of liquid magma detonates, an atmosphere move would result as the spring of gushing lava would regurgitate monstrous measures of sulfur dioxide into the climate which can frame a sulfur vaporize that reflects and retains daylight.